In this evening's edition of the Health Report, Shamela Pullen looks at fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is a common condition caused by the storage of extra fat in the liver. Most people have no symptoms. If you do have symptoms, however, it could be as a result of stretching of the liver, so pain in the area of the liver, which is on the right side just below the um, ribcage. Or you could have jaundice if it's very severe. Or you could have fever or just feel ill, have nausea or vomiting. But this is very unusual. Consultant gastroenterologist Dr. Mike Miller says the disease is common. Well, the interesting thing about fatty liver is that we've always seen cases. So it's something that, unfortunately, over the last few years, we're actually recognizing more and more that we should not be ignoring the condition of fatty liver. So quite commonly an ultrasound would be done for one reason and fatty liver was found just by the way. And very often doctors don't really pay attention to the significance of fatty liver. But the research is really showing that fatty liver can have um, deleterious effects later on like inflammation of the liver, like scarring of the liver, like liver cancer. These can occur and so it needs to be recognized. If not detected and treated early, this can lead to serious complications. The commonest cause of fatty liver um, still remains a combination of alcohol use. And then we have a category called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is associated with obesity and also diabetes, type 2 diabetes in particular. There are some medications that can cause fatty liver as well and some viruses, but for the most part we're talking about alcohol and then the non-alcoholic causes like obesity and diabetes. The good news is fatty liver disease can be prevented if the triggers are avoided. But the key is doing a liver test. So you want to find liver inflammation before you get scarring, so before the stage of cirrhosis. When you have hepatitis, for example, at that stage it can be completely reversible. It doesn't require medication. The liver is very good at repairing itself in the case of fatty liver. So once you remove the cause of the fatty liver, whether it's the obesity or alcohol use, um, if it's from diabetes and managing the diabetes, usually that's all you need. To Meanwhile, Dr. Mills is urging other medical experts not to ignore the condition. Persons at risk, like diabetics, those overweight or obese, are also encouraged to control these underlying issues. With her health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you good health.